Right, let's have a butcher's and see Wagwan. This is an auction property. Always check the legal pack as well as auction fees. You may have additional costs and other property problems. Today, we are viewing a freehold through terrace, end of terrace, three bedrooms, one bathroom property. The on-street parking is free. There is a tiny yard at the back for outside space. From Leeds City Centre, it is roughly a 10 minute drive and 20 minutes on the bus. There is a storage space, which we will see a little bit later on. For all the people that think landlords should not exist, this property is for you. This is an ex-rental property being sold directly by a housing association. Now we don't know if they're reducing their stock or they're selling this property as a one-off, but the point is the tenants have moved out and now the property is being sold. It's really nice that this property actually has a hallway because you know sometimes when you've got these front doors on the road, you know like there's no front yard or there's no garden or there's no pathway to separate your front door from being like immediately on the street. And with a lot of properties, you just walk directly into the sitting room. But it's really lovely here that there's actually a hallway. Going down into the cellar, not sure if you notice it or not, but there are two acro props, which is a cause for concern. I mean, is the floor about to fall in? That needs to be checked out. Unless you're a full time property developer that does this day in, day out, it's wise to take someone with you to the viewing. Now, that someone being a trusted builder or a trusted building surveyor that can give you a diagnosis and a costing and can let you know what your next move is. But take note, please, I beg, the builder or the building surveyor may charge for this service. The kitchen is looking all right. It's a good size because you can fit at least a table with four chairs. It's a good size kitchen. All right, let's go upstairs. Can we talk about the state of some of these housing association properties? Even the one last week and the video is tagged to the end, there was rising damp. Now, I'm not talking about the decoration because, you know, tenants will do their thing and decorate it how they want. But just the general state of the properties. Can we have a discussion about this, please? Or is it that with some people, you only have energy for private landlords? Is it that 
the property was tenanted up to six months ago. Which I'm thinking, the state of this, do you know what I mean? Or is it the property has been empty for a little while, like a good couple of years? That annoys me. Housing associations will scream from the top of their voice, we do not have no properties. But yet still, some of you will have empty properties sat there doing jack. Anyhow, until we get facts, ain't got Scooby. First time buyers. We need to find out the reason for the acro props. It may possibly take out a couple of grand, but it really depends on what the builder says. Now the beauty of this property is that it's a three bedroom. So at some point, an option would be to take in a lodger that will cover the costs of the mortgage, freeing up your money to continue refurbing. Now this looks like it's one of them projects that will take years. So you're not gonna be the first first time buyer and you're certainly not gonna be the last first time buyer where you've bought a property three years down the line, you're still refurbing a cycle. Life is life sometimes. We will look in a minute at how much we can rent a room for. Landlords, this property is in the selective license area of Beeston. So if you're going to let out the property to an ASD tenant, you need a license. What are three beds renting for in the local area? This property is not open to a housing benefit tenant, otherwise there will be a shortfall. I can hear you landlords thinking HMO, HMO, HMO. Now personally, I'm not convinced that you can make any money from a three bed HMO, unless the tenants are all three friends on one AST and they're all responsible for the bills. Or alternatively with this property, you can convert the living room into a bedroom making it into a four bed HMO and then converting the basement into some kind of living space. But take note, this is an article four area. How much do rooms rent for in the local area? to save the 825 pounds short-term lets do not need a license so how much per night for a short-term let can we get with four guests this is a storage room storage space you know, if you're a first time buyer, you can turn this into a dressing room, a makeup room, a tools room. There's so much you can do. However, as a landlord looking at short term lets, this is where possibly we can turn it into a shower room with a shower, toilet, sink, blabby jabbly. So, if we convert the storage space, into a shower room you can add more people because you've added an additional bathroom so how much per night can we get on a short-term let with six guests it looks like there's only one short-term let in the area let's have the 390 pounds per night and take that as an average so six guests at 195 pounds per night over 20 nights is the reason why landlords want short-term rentals the landlord pays all the bills by the time you've taken in the refurb into consideration 
the purchase cost, it's still actually a really good return. Let's do the Jim Jam test. Is a local shop close enough to pop in in our Jim Jams on a Sunday morning? The tiny backyard at the back for outside space. The bus stop is a four minute walk and buses go directly into Leeds city centre. What is the full asking price of the property in the region of? Let's have a look at various types of properties because comparables are all over the gaff. Let's ask the question, would you buy to live, buy to let, or does Leeds need more investment before you even think about it? As to be expected, there is no sales history for the property, probably been in ownership for a very long time. But the last property that sold on the street was tenanted, which was next door. Now bearing in mind that property had two bathrooms and that sold for 125,000 in February 2023. And we have our shop. What do you think the property sold for and is it within our £95,000 budget? 